Hey there, Virgie Bird. I hope you guys are doing well today. So, Virgo, let's tap in. Let's see what's going on with the energy for you all, okay? Thank you guys for your love, your support, your donations, and your um super thanks, Virgo. I'm sending all that love. Ooh, my ear itch. Ooh, that feel nice. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I'm sending all that love back to you guys tenfold, okay? So let's tap in, Virgo. Let's see what the fuck is going on with y'all, okay? Right. Let's see. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, gods and goddesses, please return any spell work, any dark magic that has sent to harm Virgo and their loved ones. Me and my loved ones return Return it back to the sender. Block any interferences that could be stopping the messages from coming through. Clear, concise, and precise messages for my Virgie Virg. And protect me as I channel the messages for Virgo. So let's see, Virgo. Let's see what's going on. Happy birthday to you guys once again. When y'all season over? 20-something. Let's see what's going on for Virgo. Hmm. I gotta go get this nail fixed. I mean, this shit about to come off. And that's gonna irritate me. So we got scare tactics here, arousing fear and alarm. What else? Obstructing, cock blocking, hindering connection. So here we go. I guess somebody trying to act out. Okay, what else? And then we have identity theft in reverse. Someone else putting the bill, stealing others' ideas or partner, pretending to be someone they are not. Yeah, so I feel like the real them is coming out. <laughs> the real them is coming out. Like, I feel like you're getting ready to see somebody's behavioral patterns too. Like, somebody here acts like this every time they can't have their way. And this is somebody here that's doing things behind your back, by the way, too. Yeah, they got caught in the act. Self-incriminating offenses. Ego, too big to fail, narcissistic, self-important, strong sense of self. Like, this person is somebody that will blow up on you without really telling you why the fuck they blowing up. But it's because they don't shit that they ain't got no business. It's automatically what I'm getting from this. And they're mad that they can't be you. They're mad that they can't steal your identity or mirror your energy anymore or something like that. Somebody here mad that you're outsmarting them every time. You're original. You do, you're do. you very unpredictable here. They're mad that they can't keep up with you because they're trying to be you. Like a weirdo. Okay, period. So that's very self-explanatory. Just like your readings have been lately. The last few readings have been very fucking straight to the point. Somebody's a loser. <laughs> that's just what it is. It keeps coming up. And your energy trying to cock block and hinder shit. Like, boy. Girl, bye. <laughs> Get the fuck. see Virgo so what is scare tactics here somebody's trying to scare you I mean you grown somebody a grown, a grown ass person trying to scare you okay the four wands in the reverse Virgo energy I mean Aries Venus sorry this could be another Virgo but um so I feel like just like I've been telling everybody else Virgo this is energy harvesting season okay for some of you, there's a karmic couple here. They're both very abusive towards each other and they're both very discontent in a relationship. They could be losing respect in a community. They could be also losing a home. This is a lack of support. So these people are getting into it. There's a breakup here taking place or this is you breaking up with this bitch. That you need to <laughs> quick because I already feel some dumb shit going on. But for some of you, this is a karmic couple. I got something like this for Taurus. They're very dissatisfied or they're being ignored or they're like, things are at a stalemate for this person. They're not getting, they don't have any, they don't have any energy to harvest, to manifest. Yeah, the magician, because you're the one manifesting in your own energy. That's why. Automatically, I'm seeing what the fuck this is. It ain't take long. It didn't take long. Not at all. Yeah, they broke. Five of Pentacles here and they probably sick and everything else from playing around in your energy. So let's see. Let's get into it. What's scare tactics? Okay, yeah, nine of cups in reverse. Mm -hmm. So so a wish or a dream has been shattered here. Somebody's really cocky, greedy, arrogant, conceited. 
This could be somebody too with a sex addiction or this is substance abuse. If somebody drinks a lot or somebody is trying to ruin your reputation. They're trying to defame you with the Nine of Cups reverse. What scare tactics here with the Nine of Cups reverse? Okay, Six of Swords in reverse. So somebody here is miserable, Virgo. Okay, this could be trouble headed somebody's way. <clears throat> hmm. Aquarius Mercury. This could be somebody here trying to run away from their consequences, but this is the energy of you can run, but you can't hide kind of vibes. Mm. Somebody here is trapped too. They're stuck or somebody is going backwards. Excuse me. This could be you standing your ground, Virgo, with the Six of Swords in reverse. Let's see. What's this Nine of Cups reverse? The Ten of Wands reverse and the Fool. Yeah, so whatever this is right here, it's like somebody is beating a dead horse with the Ten of Wands in reverse. Somebody can't get through with something. But this is you releasing the burdens, the dead weight, the negative energy, or whatever this is. You're free. You're no longer carrying nobody else's energy around. This is their energy. They don't have to deal with it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like 616 on the clock. 12, 1242 on the clock. Oh, well, 616 was on the timer, rather. So I feel like, yeah, you're free from any restrictions, anything that's holding you back or whatever was burdening you, whatever this was that was stress or like, um, where there was a lack of fun or a lack of spontaneity, you're now in the full energy where you are being spontaneous, adventurous, blah, blah, blah. You're free. You can now live your life how the fuck you want to live it. Okay, period. And somebody's in despair about it, I guess. Nine of Cups in reverse. They were hoping and wishing that you would not be the empress or you wouldn't be, you would be struggling and, str and fucked up and not having any help so they can what? Talk shit about you and be like, yeah, aha, uh -huh. you don't have any help or you're fucked up or you can't do this and do that. Somebody here got y'all fucked up. I'm telling you. What's the Six of Swords in reverse? Yeah, the Eight of Wands in reverse. Exactly. All this shit going back. So now somebody here is stuck. They're trapped. They're experiencing delays, setbacks, or whatever. And they're trying to run away from their consequences because they know they're dead wrong for doing what the fuck they did. Whoever this is. What's Six of Swords in reverse? Eight of Wands in reverse. Sag, uh, <clears throat> Mercury. We got Aries, Venus here with the Four of Wands in reverse. So yeah, whatever negativity this community sent out to you or this this family member, somebody in your family or somebody that you that you live with at once upon a time or whatever this is, it's going back. Somebody here is losing a home and they're having, this is a lack of support. So just like how they wanted you to not have support, they wanted you to be burdened, stressed, weighed down, anxiety, fucked up. Now you're free and now they're experiencing it. That's how karma work, you dumb asshole. Whoever this is with that nasty energy, they know who I'm talking about. Their energy come out strong as fuck. I just started the reading. Mm, like the energy coming up strong. I can read you bitches from left to damn right, up to damn down, south to west, north to east, whatever. North, south, west to east, or whatever the fuck. So anyways. So, I mean. So yeah, this is a cancer celebration. If something is not too fun in this household or there's dysfunction, there's arguments, arguments going on in a household. Mm-hmm. What's the four walls reverse? Yeah. Okay, the Ten of Cups in reverse. Yeah, this is an unhappy family. Something that's fake as fuck, and they know it's fake. And they trying to put on the front in the show like it's so grand. We Bitch, we know that y'all arguing every motherfucking day in this fake-ass relationship. This could be a divorce here that somebody is going through. It's kids involved and everything. They seeing these two idiots fight and argue and bicker all fucking day. But this is what happens with, though when you're trying to swap places or destiny swap and take somebody else's shit that's not yours and try to like laugh in their face about it. Like, yeah, bitch. <laughs> it's not too fun no more, is it? Because that's exactly what the fuck I'm sensing here. And my senses don't ever be wrong. Okay, so. Yeah. Wow, the four wands in reverse, ten of cups in reverse. Yeah, this is homelessness. This is definitely what that is. Family secrets coming out and everything. What's the eight of wands in reverse? Hmm. Yeah, the justice, and this is karma. This is justice here. So something is fair, bitch. If you don't, you watch and you're like, oh, well, I'm fucked up or whatever, bitch. Think about what the fuck you did. You need to go back and think about what you did. Are you delusional? This shit is fair. It's just, it makes sense for you to be going through what, the, what you're going through. 
Libra energy. There could be laws involved too. There could be uh, child protective services getting ready to get called. Cause where the fuck these kids gonna be at? It's a whole family somebody done created off of a fake ass, fucked up foundation. Where the kids gonna go? Dumb assholes. Y'all don't think about y'all fucking kids before y'all. Cause it's not about them. These narcissists. They don't give a fuck about their children. They don't care. They don't care. Not at all. Libra energy. What's the damn obstructing here? Eight of Swords reverse. Gemini Jupiter. What's obstructing? And the Eight of Pentacles. You guys will be seeing 888. So something could be changing with your finances, Virgo. Okay, this is your energy upright. That's so that's good. There's good Virgos here, obviously. There's just one bitch ass Virgo that just won't leave this damn collective. I'm sick of this bitch. Whoever the fucking Virgo is that's causing destruction and chaos, you've been coming up in everybody's motherfucking reading. You bitch, I'm talking about you. And I know you're watching for your own sign with your karmic ass. It's you. <laughs> just period. You know you're a problem. Ain't nobody got to tell your whole ass that. So anyways, I feel like with the Eight of Pentacles, this is you focused. This could be you in a commitment with the Eight of Pentacles. With cock blocking, hindering connection. You're connecting maybe to somebody now and you're focused. You're building upon success here. This is you progressing. With the Eight of Pentacles. And the eight of swords is you coming out of your head. You're no longer self-sabotaging or whatever this is they was hoping you was going to do. So they try to take your shit and make it into something that it's not over here with this fake ass family dynamic. Yeah, look at that slow ass. Look at them. Another Virgo with the hermit. Y'all know this is Virgo. King of Pentacles in reverse. Just a dumb asshole. Just, just pathetic. I, I, I just can't with this energy. What's the eight of swords in reverse? <coughs> yeah, three of cups. What's Eight of Swords of Verse 3 of Cups? <clears throat> Cancer Mercury. And the Page of Swords. So yeah, somebody's watching you. They're watching you celebrate or reconcile with whoever the fuck you want to reconcile with or be with whoever the fuck you want to be with. Bitch, it's a celebration over here. I can't say the same about you. It looks bad over there where you're at. Mm. Tragic. So yeah, I feel like you're partying, Virgo. You could be meeting new people. You're celebrating. It's something to celebrate here, period. You're no longer in your head. You're not doing anything. You're not binded to whatever the fuck this mess is. Because they definitely try to swap places. Like real bad. Mm. That shit is over with. It's done. Yeah, this is you. Your blessing coming through. So they watching you. What's Page of Swords? Yeah, so somebody's watching you glow up or watching you get a victory. They're trying to get some sort of information. To do what, bitch? You lost. Move on. You bitches don't know how to just move on. You lose. You're a loser. You're a loser, so just move on with your life. What the fuck is the problem? This could be you speaking up against some sort of injustice here in the public eye. Maybe maybe where you work at, you're no longer silenced. Yeah, something about you not being silenced or scared or... Yeah, they're trying to put scary shit on you or make you scared to say shit. Bitch, I feel like you airing this motherfucker out. I feel like you calling everybody out. <laughs> you don't give a fuck. Somebody here trying to scare you. It's like, bitch, you the one that's scared of being homeless and broke. That's what you need to be focused on. You shouldn't be worried about somebody here telling the truth about your bitch ass. Because you just sit up here and lie and you try to steal forever. It shouldn't matter. What the fuck are you saying? What's the page of swords with the six of wands? Okay, the death card. Yeah, so a death and a rebirth, a transformation here. This could be a death and a rebirth about using your voice. Speaking up when you need to and things like that. Opening up. Yeah, you're opening up. You're sharing about why the fuck you walked away from somebody. Yeah, something's being revealed. You ain't scared. You ain't doing none of that. You're leaving where the fuck you need to leave and you're going where the fuck you want to go. And ain't nobody going to stop it. Not a narcissist, not the most malignant narcissist will stop whatever the fuck is going on. So now what? Y'all bitches really be thinking y'all like that. And you're not. You're not low. You're not smart. You're the dumbest broad and the dumbest damn loser little boy that I've ever fucking witnessed in a reading. And you come up in every reading just, but it could be different people, but y'all all got the same personalities. Ain't shit different about you hoes. Nothing. So it's the same shit still applies to you bitches in every reading. Literally. I, I can't stand when people think that they like that or trying to hurt somebody intentionally. Then they sit back and laugh about it like, bitch, we, it's, it's funny now. Is it funny? Are you laughing now that you're out on the street somewhere? Is that funny? Is that funny? Because, I mean, we can sit back and laugh at that. I feel like that shit is quite disappointing and it's very upsetting that you bitches sit back and try to swap places with somebody. 
And then you think that shit is funny, but you don't want nobody laughing at the fact that your bitch ass getting ready to be sitting outside on a damn road with your fucking kids and all the shit that you accumulated. If you even have that, if you even have anything, you dumb assholes. Yeah, that shit ain't funny, huh? The fuck are you saying? Like, that's some weird ass shit. And it's not cool. It's very fucking disappointing. I know I get upset about it because that's dumb. How the fuck you gonna be like that towards somebody and then you sitting back playing victim or you crying about you losing shit? Bitch, it was never yours to begin with. It was never yours to fucking begin with. The fuck is wrong with you hoes? Y'all be pissing me the fuck off. And I'm a rat. On, I'm a rag on you hoes every time. And if I'm a rat, bitch, I'm a rat. My readings is for me to rat on you hoes. And? I don't give a fuck. You need to be called out on your shit. Somebody gotta do it. But I'm sick of seeing you hoes every time. Come up with this karma and shit like that. And then you have the nerve to still be nasty and, and pissy about everything, bitch. With your funky ass. Now you ain't got no water to wash that ass. I guess you don't. And you ain't got no fucking support. So now what? Now what? That shit ain't too funny, huh? I don't feel too good. Laughing at somebody else's pain. Now your bitch ass is outside with your family that you created. I guess y'all gotta stick together now. Dumb asshole. So what else? What's the Eight of Pentacles? The Ten of Pentacles in the damn reverse. Yeah, losing everything. Fights and shit about money. Somebody in your family, definitely Virgo energy. Somebody got a Virgo Mercury placement. This could be you where you um broke a generational curse here. You're a trendsetter. <laughs> you're doing something different. You broke a curse here. You're doing something that your whole bloodline didn't do. And you you were the generational curse breaker. You're the one that had to break the, the curse in order to start a new generation here. But I feel like this somebody here trying to steal somebody's spiritual inheritance or actually your actual money. It's like, how dare you? Now your bitch ass is losing everything. Whatever you built is just somebody here faking their damn wealth. Why you over here really building from the ground up, working hard, slaving to get to where the fuck you need to be at and somebody think they're going to steal from you? Are you fucking slow? You got to be the slowest bitch ever. <laughs> like, what's the Eight of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles reverse? Yeah, Page of Cups all because they jealous. Jealous. Somebody trying to fake their wealth. Somebody has a lot of insecurities and a lot of abandonment wounds they need to work on real bad. Real bad. You bitches ain't gonna fucking, spirit ain't gonna let up off that ass until you heal and do what you need to do to be a better person. Because I'm sick of seeing you hoes. I am really sick of seeing y'all bitches. And now it's coming to a head now. Everything is coming out good so that way we can move on to the next story. Because, I mean, challenges always gonna pop up. And you bitches, you specific hoes that keep coming out, been coming out for years, it's your years and your time is up. So once you bitches pass, it's going to be time for the next challenge. And we ready for it because we didn't deal with you hoes. We didn't deal with you bitches. The worst narcissists that ever crossed the damn planet Earth. We done worked hard to get rid of you bitches. Your time is up. You getting ready to get rid of. You getting ready to be gotten rid of. And that's what the fuck we needed. Shit is coming to a head now. This year y'all showed y'all asses and we getting ready to show ours come year nine. 2025 is going to be our year to reap what we sown. You bitches are going to be non-fucking existent and spirit is going to make sure of it. That's it. That's all. So yeah, this is you manifesting here, uh, Empress. Man or woman. This is your manifestations coming through. And that's how they're going to be anyways. That's how it was always written. These bitches was always getting ready to experience this kind of karma. Bitch, this was what the fuck. It was fated to happen for that shit. It was fated for that shit to happen. But just like I read for who I read that shit for, Pisces, you bitches here, you control your destiny. Whatever's fated to happen, it's going to play out to regardless, but you can control how the fuck, excuse me, you handle certain things. And you bitches are really fucked up for handling this shit like this. We're trying to take somebody else's shit and make it yours. You are a fucking nobody and spirit is getting ready to show your ass that you are not more powerful than spirit. Your, your the angels, the ancestors, the gods, whatever. And look at this weak asshole. Queen of Swords in the reverse, Two of Swords reverse, and the damn Five of Wands. So lies are being exposed here. This lying asshole is being exposed for being in competition with you. Talking shit about you. Just jealous. Somebody in somebody's family is jealous. This could be somebody raggedy ass mama that's jealous. Or this is your own damn mama that's jealous. What's the damn identity theft? I can't stand it. I can't just... What's identity theft? The higher from reverse towards energy. Okay, this could be legal trouble too. Somebody here trying to pull up documents or... <clears throat> I don't know. What's identity theft with the higher from in the reverse? 
five of cups yeah so so, so this could be a, a group of people doing this a hate group a cult or whatever so now these hoes are sad or whoever this bitch is they sad what's the heart from reverse they in deep regret because they ain't got no fucking morals okay now the pinnacle split up then we have the emperor so this higher from the reverse could be a false leader, a false priest. And we have the real emperor here showing up. <laughs> or oh, this is you. Or oh, this is the leader of some sort of group here. What's this higher from reverse with this emperor? The hermit reverse Virgo energy. So this could be maybe this is you coming out of hermit mode. And this is you. Maybe you're in your emperor energy, man or woman. Your structure, your discipline, your focus on your stability, your security. But for some of you, there's a there's a distorted Virgo energy here that's paranoid or they scared about something. Maybe this person wanted to be initiated into a group because they want attention so fucking bad with their weak ass. It's like, bitch, you ain't do you ain't do shit to fucking be in this person's position that they in. You ain't do shit. You're a loser, and you're weak, and you know it. What's the harm in the reverse? The strength card. What's the home reverse strength card? Okay. The magician and the knight of pentacles. So yeah, a lot of manifesting here going on. A lot of manifesting here. This is you having a practical plan. You taking your time. This is your energy. The good Virgo energy. I'm not talking about this weak bitch. <laughs> I'm not talking about whoever the fuck this is acting a damn fool in this collective because they everywhere. You can't miss them. They come up in every motherfucking reading. Yeah, again, Gemini, Virgo, energy. So yeah, this is strong manifestations here. The strength card, this is you having the courage and the strength to overcome any kind of obstacle challenge that come your way because life is going life. So regardless, if you got good karma or not, you're on planet Earth. This is just life. This is a human experience. As long as you're here, you're going to have human experiences. I just feel like now you got God-like strength. And it's like you can get through anything. You ain't got shit to be worried about or scared of. Why would you? The fuck? Why would you? So I feel like, yeah, slow and steady wins the race. Keep manifesting, keep working hard, keep growing, keep building upon whatever you're trying to build upon. And that's just period. Somebody here trying to be a ghost or whatever this is, or this is an actual ghost that they're trying to have, that they're trying to conjure up, or it's like they want to be a scary bitch. Like, bitch, you the one that's scary. And you got a lot to be scared of, ho. <laughs> like, you the one that need to be focused on what the fuck you need to be focused on and minding your goddamn business. What's the emperor? Who does emperor? So now they're paranoid because now you're in your manifesting power. You're in your bag here, period. The Six of Pentacles reverse. What's the Emperor with the Six of Pentacles reverse? The Knight of Swords here. Gemini energy. And the Eight of Cups. And this King of Swords in reverse. Hmm. So this is somebody here abusing their power in position of authority with the Six of Pentacles in reverse. And I feel like this Knight of Swords is somebody that's heroic. Yeah, this is somebody that's heroic. They're coming to your rescue, kind of. Or this could be like spiritually. This Knight of Swords could also be big changes or major changes that you've made in your life. You've seized an opportunity to walk away from something that's no longer serving you. And I feel like you did this work on yourself and you found your emperor. Because I feel like that I'm getting good energy off. I'm not getting bad energy. This fucked up chaotic energy is surrounding this emperor because that's who the fuck they didn't want you to get. Because again, whoever the fuck this is, is, is living a fake ass family with somebody. That I guess they feel like, oh, that's my twin flame or that's this shit is karmic as fuck and they know it. So I feel like you manifested an emperor. Somebody abusing their power and trying to scam you or, or extort you. This could be extortion. This could be bribery. Somebody was in the middle of trying to extort you or bribe people to do things to you or whatever the fuck this is, and you made it out just in time or something just happened all of a sudden. A quick shift or a sudden departure or a sudden arrival or something happened. This emperor. Yeah, this emperor showed up and it's making this king of swords like the liar that they are because they are a fucking liar and the shit coming out. Now they shit falling apart. They broke, they raggedy, and they, they having a hard time and so is this fucking lion ass queen of swords in reverse. This bitch too. If this is the karmic couple that I'm talking about or this somebody mama and daddy, you hoes looking raggedy as fuck and that's what the fuck you get. That's karma, bitch. That's karma. Do you know anything about that? I bet you now you know karma ain't playing with your whole ass. I bet you you get your shit together now and if you don't, that's on you. We don't give a fuck. We ain't gonna have to worry about you from now until the rest of the lifetime here. If your ass gotta get taken up out of here, we gonna be happy about it. I can guarantee you that. 
You ain't got to worry about you bitches no more after this. You get that ass whooped. You ain't got no motherfucking money. You ain't got no place to stay. That should teach your ass to stop fucking around. Find something else safe to do, bitch. And stop lying to yourself. And stop lying about every fucking thing. Because you're a big ass fucking liar. So what's the damn five of cups? Yeah, five of swords in reverse. Somebody getting ready to be humiliated. Them and all these people. I'm getting people with their shit sitting outside. I'm getting people that actually need support and help, but they done fucked everybody over. Nobody wants to fuck with them. And that's sad. You bitches ruin your own reputation trying to hurt somebody else. Like, that's really fucked up. And the shit ain't even funny. It's not cute, but bitch, listen, we celebrating over here. Whatever you're going through is your fucking business. We don't give a fuck. Your shit just coming out because you're raggedy. Your business is coming out in these readings because you did people wrong. You did people dirty. And you try to do shit behind people back, bitch. That ain't how the shit work. You're going to get exposed for that shit ASAP. What's the damn five of cups? Yeah, the ace of swords. Yeah, because something failed. Something didn't go through. There wasn't no damn breakthrough. Somebody here scatterbrained or they made the wrong decisions. I feel like, bitch, you know that you made the wrong decisions, though, because you're hateful. How the fuck did you not know you didn't make the wrong decision? You knew. We all grown. What's the five of cups and the ace of swords reverse? One, zero, one on the clock. And the moon reverse. Yeah, somebody's being exposed as a fucking liar. They're being exposed as a liar. Somebody here is sad or whatever. They could be arguing or this is somebody that feels hostility or they're in a hostile environment where they keep arguing. They keep going back and forth with somebody. That's what the fuck they get for trying to stunt on you or flex on you like with your energy and this relationship. Like, bitch, that's what you get. Now you got to argue with this bitch, whoever you laid up with. And y'all ain't got no fucking money. Ace of Pentacles reverse. Page of Wands reverse. You ain't got no backbone. Now you're stuck over here. Somebody need to work through their karmic cycles. This is karmic for they ass, and they're going to have to learn the hard way. <clears throat> you are not the one to stunt on. You shouldn't be trying to stunt on nobody but the raggedy bitch that you was the day before. Just like we had to stunt on our old self to be our new self. That's what the fuck you bitches need to work on. Not stunt on somebody else. Not be in competition with another fucking human. We all got 24 hours in a goddamn day. 365, 365 days in the year to get our shit together. To be a new person next year. To grow. Every three to six months, everybody should be doing something different. You bitches are still stuck doing the same shit you was doing and then gonna try to hurt somebody else. That's what you bitches get. Like, I don't I don't care about people saying, oh, that shit, man. Like, I'm really passionate about the nasty ass shit that people do. That be coming up in these readings. Like, I, I don't like hatred. I don't like hatred. I don't like hateful energy. And that shit is fucked up. It's pathetic and it's petty. So now spirit is about to get petty on that ass. They're getting ready to tap dance all over them finances, all over that house that you don't got, all over that love that you don't fucking got. They're getting ready to tap dance all over that. You're getting ready to feel it, bitch. You're getting ready to feel it. It's okay. It's all good. Ain't nobody else got to worry about that shit but you dumb assholes. We moving on because we the fuck, we did the work. Dumbass. The only thing you bitches need to worry about doing now is repenting for what the fuck you did. And I bet you they ain't going to do that. They don't have to take accountability though with the justice. It's ju the justice is upright. So it's going to be some fairness around this bitch. Karma is going to play out and you bitches going to feel this wrath. That you try to cause for somebody else. Like you got godlike powers or something. Bitch, you ain't nobody. You're a nobody. And you getting ready to get stripped down. And you getting ready to be made to feel like that. So you can fucking grow the fuck up. Because who the fuck do you think you are to control somebody else's destiny and fate? Like bitch, what? Y'all have lost your mind and they're going to try to throw up in your face a family dynamic that's built off some pissy ass shitty shit. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Something that's built off your energy. The fuck are you talking about? Y'all bitches, you going to learn whether we got to teach you as the chosen ones or spirit or we work through spirit. So you learn it through us. That's what the fuck really going on. You don't like that, though. And that's oh the fuck well, bitch. That's the position that we was put in and that's what it's going to be. Learn and keep moving. Stop fucking with us. We ain't fucking with you. We left your ass where the fuck you deserve to be left at. Out in the cold. So you can learn. We learn from you. We learn not to fuck with a bitch like you ever again. The fuck? Somebody here is stupid as fuck. Yeah, the keeper of the scales. Fairness and balance. Fucking period. Period. The shadow queen. Acquiring knowledge, insecurity, and manipulation. Yeah, you can see right through somebody's fucking manipulation. You see it. You're the shadow queen. You work on your own shadow self. When somebody mirrors back your insecurities, you don't get mad and like, yeah, well, I don't like that. But bitch, that's how you are, though. If that's how you are, then you need to work on it. You work on your own shadow. 
you don't you don't you don't sit back and be like oh i'm hating on this person when you have the potential like i said everybody got 24 hours in a fucking day you have the potential to do what the next person is doing and and do it better here that might be your actual talent it might be not even their purpose to do what they're doing but they're good at it it's called learning from other people you fucking dumbass that's what it's called somebody here think that they know everything and this is why they ask getting fucked up right now it's like bitch somebody here to teach you and help you you ratting on them or you hurting them or you're doing nasty things to them or trying to take from them instead of fucking learning from the person like is that that's like i feel like people are really fucking lost like what is wrong with people where they just cannot just sit down and learn and adapt to people knowing more than them like bitch you should want somebody to know more than you so that way you can learn how else are you gonna learn that's why somebody here still stuck in the same spot that they was in 50 damn years ago in a past life you coming into this lifetime being worse than you was in a past life it's like it's embarrassing it's embarrassing and then you get mad in the readings when people calling your ass out or when you watch it and then try to go do spell work it's like bitch what the fuck is that gonna do to a real spiritual warrior my channel or my channel we fight back we not no pussy ass clowns and we definitely way more smarter than you hoes and you know it you gotta watch us to learn from us what the fuck are you talking about like, y'all bitches really have lost your minds. And it shows every day. Every single day. Like, I'm sick of talking about you hoes. And you bitches should be getting tired of getting talked about. Because I'm not letting up. I don't give a fuck if my throat chakra be fucked up or whatever. Bitch, you're going to get talked about in my readings. Because I'm sick of seeing you hoes. You want to be seen so bad? Well, here the fuck you go. Let's watch the show. Be 31 minutes in at the, at the show. This is a show. So we got ally here. The law of harmony is an act. I mean, is enacted when the keeper of the skills come to you as an ally. Align with her as the law states, making conscious choices that create balance in your life. When you do, you also magically align with the abundance of the universe and the powerful forces of synchronicity. This creates conditions and possibilities that lead to the fulfillment of your highest intentions. Harmony begins with the self and then resonates outward to others. You're in harmony with yourself when you nurture yourself with love, respect, and acceptance, always fully taking responsibility for your actions, period. Only then can you be in harmony with others. This is because love is the central force that connects all of life and aligns you with like-minded others. Another message is restoration and the positive, fair resolution in all disputes, including those involving the legal system or other important ex exchanges. The keeper of the scales is just is a just and kind ally, always making sure balance is activated on your path. And so it will be. And so it will be. So it will be. Yeah, I feel like somebody here, you do a lot of inner work on yourself. I feel like somebody don't know what the fuck it's like to do inner work. They know nothing about doing shadow work. They just want to run around and take everybody else's shit or you work hard for what the fuck you got and they want to come snatch it away and make you start all over again and then laugh in your face like, bitch, you have you have completely lost it. <laughs> like, I, I don't know what kind of... That shit, to me, it just seems really foreign. Like, it just seems really foreign. That's real different to think like that. Like, who the fuck thinks like that? Like, the most evilest people just think like that. And that shit just really just gives me chills just makes me want to throw up it's like how dare you how dare you who the fuck do you think you are and you definitely on a losing team if you really represent satan because this is satanic as fuck really demonic you hoes have completely lost your way and then you think you're more powerful than god did you bitches forget that satan and god were allies before like are you dumb satan only got strength because they got god like they what the fuck like be for real bitch you are definitely on the, the losing side. And the devil is really just all of our shadow sides, really. But that ain't the side you want to stay on. And if that's what you choose to do, do you, bitch. But don't come over here with that because you're going to get your ass beat every motherfucking time trying to fuck with somebody that's divine. Truly. And they ain't two-faced or switching sides. Like, you hoes really have lost your mind. You're gonna, you getting ready to know, though. You bitches getting ready to understand who the fuck is really in charge because it's not you lazy bum hoes. It's not you hoes. It's not you bitches. So whoever get mad after this reading, I don't give a fuck. I say what the fuck I said. And if you get mad and I'm talking to you, I'm talking to you. Because I'm sick of seeing y'all hoes come up with this nasty energy. You still jealous. You still hateful. You still don't want to learn. It's like, well, bitch, you still won't get talked about in my readings. So don't watch me then. <laughs> don't watch me. So this is your reading, Virgo. I hope this reading gave you clarity. Like, comment, subscribe, turn your notification bell on, press the all button so you won't miss my reads, and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.